Greeting to anybody who's watching this. I do want to thank you for watching. We're doing a mutator Monday. This mutator I'm calling variable action points. It's pretty much all over the place in games, particularly in area of Euros, but it shows up in surprising places like in chess. I will post a link below to the chess variant website for use of variable action points. What I mean by action points are that when you do an action in a game, if you know Euros and stuff like that, you'll know worker placement games you're talking about, you do an action in a game. What variable action means is that you don't have a set number of actions. It can change in games by a certain set of rules. Where it's most common, and I looked at the chess variant website about it, is progressive chess. I'm going to double check this page here, make sure I'm saying it right. Yep, progressive chess. I'll post the link below. What it means is this number of actions. If progressive chess, for example, the first player would get one move. The next player then gets two moves, and three moves, and then four moves, five moves, and six moves, and seven moves, until you can play until you eliminate your opponent's pieces or checkmate. It, depending on the version you have there, there's, I've seen different ones I have. One of them's an Italian variant. When you look at a Euro game, you'd have worker placement, and you would get more workers, like in a Greek law, for example. Anyhow, this is so extensive, there isn't any particular game I'm going to go over. I just wanted to do this to get it on record here. What we're doing with the Mutator Monday, which is what we have here, is we're looking at different types of ways to be able to change a game through an approach, category of, now it's going into categories, because it's maybe not specific one, but a type, where you can change a game across the other area. And this week, we're looking at variable action points fairly simple concept that shows up all over the place. And if you play any Euro style games or any of you can think of it. And it's just something to think about if you have a game like Chess or Checkers, for example, of having it where you would then vary the number of points you have. I mean, you could do something like Progressive where maybe it goes 1, then 2, then 3, then 2, then 1, and back and forth. Places, if you grab parts on the board, we're talking about Chess here or anything else. And pardon me, again, I have a little bit of a cold here. I just wanted to get this to the thing. So anyhow, I do want to thank, th anyhow, that's about it. I'll post a link below for, uh, to the Chess Variant website on this. And again, variable action points, that's the name of this mutator. We will do more here. And I guess that's about it. I do want to thank you for watching. May your die always roll five.